this is a long <laughs> overdue video. Um, this is a GE television, and we're going to be talking about that in a second. Hello everybody, UXW Bill here once again. Wait, no, that's wrong. Okay, Marianne Claridon here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I believe that's right. I'm having an identity crisis. Anyway, um, not really. So this is a General Electric. I do not know the model because it's such a long model number, but this TV looks to be from the 60s or 70s, but it is actually newer than that. This thing's been sitting around for a while. It does work, or it did let work last time I plugged it in. This, I believe, is a 13-inch. It's actually an 11 inch, so I was pretty close, close enough to get credit. Um, General Electric Performance Television. Now this is a good TV, black and white of course. Um, pretty plain Jane on the front. You got your volume knob. I like these knob styles. You got your goes through on goes through on the bottom to the top. Now this uses an older the old style knobs. I don't know why. Um, but these are an old style knob. Uh, your fine tuning's there. Um, on off switch is like this. And this thing looks way behind its time so if I don't knock it off the table and break it. Okay so in the middle of this um, <clears throat> knock on my door. Um, here's the battery out of a phone. I was using the wrong charger for it. It was a ZTE charger. It was this charger right here, um, a day or so ago. Here's the battery out of it. Now, this is just ridiculous. Look at this. Uh, the stuff is all coming out of it. It just, um... It didn't explode, but it made a bang, and there was some fire coming out of it, but not a lot. So, here's your battery. Um, this is it is a Samsung battery, but not the type that was being recalled. So I don't know what the deal here is, but I just thought I'd go ahead and show this since it was on a video. There's your crap uh, lithium. Anyway. Back to the TV. <clears throat> Here's the side. Um, let's see. Here's my measuring tape. So it's about 12 inches from front to back. The screen is 12 inches. And the whole TV itself, not the screen, but the whole TV, is 20 inches or... Uh, very near 19 this side 17 and um yeah so the actual part of the usable cabinet on the top is five now these tvs of course are not digital in fact it's not even in color um they're great to put a set top box on top of if you have such a thing. You can get one like this that's color. In fact, I have one like this. Sort of like this that's color. If you want to see a video on this, get me... Oh, this isn't a very popular channel. Get me 10 likes and I'll do that. Um, let's go ahead and flip around to the back. Um, now this is in okay condition physically. This one issue is the handle here. Although the top of it's in one piece, underneath there is got a little crack in it. Um, I don't have that wrench handy right now, so I won't be taking this apart. Um, there's that. There's your service info. And here's your date. 
November 1980. So it's definitely newer than it looks. And go ahead and show you the plug, uh, your typical 80s plug, if I can get a hold of it. There we go. Typical plug for something like this. Um, 28 watts. So, if you're ready, I guess we could go ahead and give her some juice. Um, I don't know why my camera's zooming in. I don't want it zoomed in. I don't know why. But for God's sakes, I wish I had my old case back with the stand in it. I'm hooking it up. Um, so on an old TV like this, in case you don't know, these are the only things you have. You can still attach it to a cable with this. You just, if I can do this single-handedly, you just attach this. I'm trying to look it through the camera. And it's hard to judge what I'm actually doing, but you just put this onto the screw terminals there, like these, the terminals onto the screw, these spade connectors, there you go. And then, yeah, there you go. I'm not going to be taking the cover off this one because I don't have that thing handy. In fact, uh, I do know I have it somewhere, so let's go ahead and plug in a source of signal here. If I can get my cable box hooked up to it. I'm trying to make this not have to be edited. Um, I mean, I'll edit it, but not. I don't really want to have to put a bunch of different clips together. So yeah, plugged in. And we'll go ahead and get our it's solid state. Let's go ahead and fire it up in three, two, one. Well, it's plugged in, or almost plugged in, it came back out. Three, two, one. Well, nothing's blown up yet. No sparks have come out of the back. Go ahead and apply power once again. Nothing's blown up. We also have no sound. I believe we should have sound. Uh, yeah, we should have sound, but it is plugged in. Yeah, it's plugged in, so we should have sound, right? Yeah, it works. Trust me on this one, it works. It just won't turn on. Um, let me go ahead and do some troubleshooting. I'll be right back. Okay, the outlet I had it in must have been bad. Let's go ahead and turn it on now. I swear on my mother's life that it was just on. Come on. I swear if you don't come on. What's going on? Is this working? Okay, this is plugged into the same extension cord and that's working. Okay, our cord must be... Come on! The cord must be going bad. The cord on the TV, that is. Come on! For God's sakes! And my camera's timing out. So this TV... Uh, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'm gonna, if it doesn't decide, what the, what the H is going on here? Okay, the cord was bad. I got it on, though. The cord was 
the cord is bad. It's in a precarious position still. But I got it on. So like I said, the CRT is weak. Let's go ahead and put it on three. Uh, contrast is all the way up. And it's okay, actually. I remember the CRT being really bad. But... It's not too bad. Picture doesn't appear to be completely straight. Um, it appears to be working now. Like I say, definitely a primitive look for ninety for nineteen eighty and King of the Hills on, so I'm gonna have to let you go. Um thanks for watching, comment, rate, subscribe. Goodbye.